so much, Georgia. Wonderful interview. I think Caps had a lot of MVPs. He didn't need to comment on it again, right? Um, but Hansama, she baited you so hard, right? <laughs> Georgia baited you a little bit. She was like, hey, who do you guys think should win? And they were all Hansama, and then she said it was Caps anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I think my team played well, so um, um, a lot of people can have MVP. <laughs> yeah, maybe everyone should have it. But I do want to come to you first. Congratulations, by the way, uh, because it is true that you got targeted again in draft. You were put in some difficult situations. Also, from the lane, you were put in difficult situations. Um, so how come you think you were still able to put your stamp on this series so hard? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <don't> think <laughs> Well, uh, early game was uh, mostly hard. I don't remember the first game. Uh, just the game two and three was very hard. But uh, I feel like we kept a good uh, vibe, a hope, a faith uh, that we will uh, make a good play and come back. And we did that. Uh, Pretty sure that uh, if we don't make those plays, maybe the game will be super hard. Uh, at the same time, we had uh, the, the super horn <laughs> giving free items. <laughs> it feels kind of nice. Um, yeah, I think we played very good from behind. Yeah. So how do you actually reflect on that performance as well, given the performance that Noah and June was giving you in the early game too? Because they played very well. Where do you think it went wrong? Yes, you had some. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, actually, can, you, can you repeat? <laughs> yeah, just playing up against Noah and June as well, because laning phase was very rough. How do you reflect on the performance against them and their performance too? Uh, I think they played uh, very well the laning phase. Uh, at least they seemed very confident to go for the all-in. I think that was pretty much uh, level one. <laughs> Other than that, there was, was a couple just, of those, it was included. Just, it was just level one, both of them. And uh, after that, it was just me, one v owning Noah. And he was so fed. So I was like sweating for every creep, <laughs> but, uh, uh, I, I'm, uh, because I, it's very hard. And uh, but I managed to farm a bit to come back, so I was happy about that. Uh, but yeah, my team played uh, well around the three three mid, uh, especially when uh, they can move first uh, from Noah. Uh, but yeah, I think they played very well. Yeah, uh, I'd love to follow up on that, Broken Blade or Mickey. Uh, in terms of the draft in game three, we were actually theorizing perhaps Fnatic should go to a scaling draft because they seem to lose the plot whenever in the, in the mid game. Then you guys said, no, we'll add some scaling elements because we actually know that even seemingly, if we lose the early game, we're going to make the right decisions later. So I guess my question is, did you know that you were in their heads? <laughs> um, I mean, we thought they're going to go scaling actually in the last game because the, the early game didn't work for them the first two games. Um, and also they didn't ban Ornn, which is like the, probably one of the better scaling top lane champions. Obviously I was very behind in both of these games, um, but it didn't matter in the end because if I get to late game, I will be much stronger, no matter what. And our team comp was very strong, especially in the last game we had Kai'Sa, Ornn, which I think is a very known combo, right? Even though both of our early games were very miserable. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I, think, I think we just played the team play better. I think laning phase, uh, they, were, they were for sure challenging us, uh, especially uh, last game, right? I think they were very hard in the laning phase, but I think we played the map better. I think uh, our jungle and support were very active on the map, um, much better than Fnatic's, and I think that's the reason we won. Mickey, what do you think, Make uh, how do you reflect on the, uh, the early game performance of some of the, uh, the game players as well? It, you, you were rallying up a couple of devs. How many, thing, how many devs do you think you can have and still win the game? Like, do you think you could take more this game or Probably, could it be yeah. less, yeah? How many? Give me a number. Like 10. <laughs> All right, good. Massive like performance. Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere how do you still find impact as a support going like this? Is this really where the role is right now? Or? Yeah, I mean, I just have CC, so I always have some impact in some way. <laughs> or I bait their spells, which is also like a form of impact. It is, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like yesterday was worse because I was getting caught, so I wasn't actually getting the cooldowns or the, you know, CC uh, down. But this time around, I feel like I was just dying either in lane or in team fights. So I didn't feel that as bad about it. Um, except, well, I didn't count the minions <laughs> first, second game. So I died. Happens. And, yeah. I feel so bad because um, this is the third time you win, and I think you've been on every one of these PGLs, and we like joked a little bit about you dying, and I wasn't going to do it at all, but 
Mickey. Sorry. Did it. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, but Mickey, on a more serious note, though, um, Niski was on the desk and he was pointing out something that a lot of people realize when you play versus G2. You have to be able to shadow the mid lane as well because you're going to be there. Of course, the jungler is going to be there, but much more than other teams, you're going to make sure that you hang around there. Now, in the first game here, um, it was necessary that it was a little bit more geared towards top lane because of the, t the cannon pick as well. And I think we can all be, you know, honest that that wasn't the best early game from G2. So are these kind of the, the strategies or the things that you're working on going not only into the season finals, but also into Worlds because you have qualified for Worlds today? I feel like the mid 3v3s are kind of just like the meta right now. Like most of the carries are just fine playing 1v1. You just have to make sure they can't get dove. Uh, I guess in game one I had to run top because I died on the yeah. level two dive. That was an attempt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at least I was there in time. I got Zyra Flash. Um, but yeah, I think most of the time, just like mid matchups are quite volatile. Everyone's always very low. So then, yeah, mid jung um, support jungle just kind of have to sit there and play 3v3s. And that's kind of what we did there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Broken Blade, you had some notable impact moments, regardless of uh, how the lane may have gone or this and that. I remember the Mundo yesterday, which was so sick, then the Orn three-man knockup at the end of game two as well. Um, how happy are you with kind of your, your impact overall on the games you've played in finals weekend? Um, I mean, obviously, it feels very nice if you can do something when your laning phase wasn't great, right? Especially if you play uh, a scaling matchup. Um, and I felt really good after I hit the three-man knockoff. Uh, it kind of reminded me of when, when we first started playing Orn in 2022 uh, and got like some wins against SKT and RNG, I think it was. Uh, so it was a very nice feeling. It was? Sorry, just one Okay. <laughs> yeah, I see, um, okay, but it Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, it's important that if I play scaling champions that I will be able to deliver later on because otherwise, why am I playing scaling champions? Uh, and that is the Mundo Mundo's Probably one of the most fun champions to play in late game. Uh, same with Orn. It's a bit less because you're like giving items to your teammates and then they carry you. But uh, it's nice to have, uh, yeah, just insurance that your teammates will also, you know, back you up when you play those champions. Have the Kaiser ready, one shot them. I give him his items and he carries. You know, yeah. <laughs> so. Perfect. Is this where your development is going as well, or is this just the course of the meta? Because you used to bring out more freaky picks you could be aggressive with as well. We also did see the Varus. But recently, you know, you're going back to an old classic in Orn, you're bringing out the Mundo. Is this the kind of player you're becoming for the team in this environment, or is it just a meta? Uh, I mean, I think after we lost the Fnatic, especially in the, when, they, when he played Orn, I felt like... This champion is busted. He was just much stronger than me yeah. throughout the whole game. So I was like, oh, it's probably nice to try it out. You know, like, it's not trying it out. It's like, just pick it back up. But it's like, I did play the cannon, right? Because I thought in that draft, it was a nice uh, idea. It was solo AP cannon with the Sidrani. So if I, if I needed to play those kind of carry champions, it's obviously nice. And yesterday, uh, last week, or I guess earlier this week, um, the virus and stuff was kind of like an experiment. I think it did work mostly. Um, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be glad to pull it out again. They did ban it every game. Right, so, so they did put some respect on my name, but... Uh, yeah, Hans played Varus too. Sorry? Hans played Varus too. Maybe it was on his game. True. <laughs> Hans wins sometimes on Varus. So. And also Hans. And also Hans. No, but that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you have qualified for the World Championship, the very first team out of Europe to book that ticket. Hans Sama, how are we feeling? After MSI, um, what are the learnings? <laughs> um, well, Hans. It's very good to qualify for Worlds. Uh, I feel very good to win today. Uh, I think, uh, well, definitely we want to do better for international, and I think we can do this. Like this week for us has been like a very rough week, mm -hmm. and um, it feels very nice because it was a rough week, and we could come back and win it all in the end, and for sure that makes us stronger as a team. And everything we've learned in international, uh, us being together, I, I, I for sure think we will, uh, we have a really great chance to do even better than than uh, what we did. <laughs> I mean, we just beat uh, one um, LPL team in Best of Five, right? But I think we can definitely do more than that. Uh, we need to put the hard work. Yeah, I mean that was still a super. Uh, hard fought and unbelievable victory. I know it's like hard to say because you wanted to go farther at MSI, but. 
Um, it was a fantastic best of five that I know a lot of European fans are really happy about. I, I wanted to ask about what you said about it being a hard week, because yesterday, when we were watching you in between the games, especially in between game one and two of VDS, I'm not a mind reader, right? But I was like, oh, they look really, really stressed. So I would love to know if you want to say something about kind of everyone around you, with Romain, with Rodrigo, with Isma, um, with Dylan, um, that is helping you out to make sure that your head stays in the game in between those difficult games. Uh, I mean, actually, it was the opposite. We were very chill after that game, after the game we oh. lost against BDS, because we had an idea on how to play a draft, and we said, if this fails, we're already going to do the other thing. So it's very easy for us to say, like, okay, guys, this failed. Let's do the other thing. So, um, but it does get stressful, right? Like, obviously, when we, like, in the third, in the fourth game, mm -hmm. when we are throwing, uh, it was definitely stressful. And then I had to mention, guys, keep the conversations up in, in the game. Uh, as a team captain, obviously, I have to do that, right? Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it does get stressful, obviously, also in these games, when you are really behind, it's important to not get stressed out and also be like, guys, we're going to outscale, take the good fights. We did take the good fights, Fnatic did not. And like, if, if you get like one time the Nasher and then it's already like we all scared them, you know, so. You make it sound so easy, but that was like an 8K gold deficit in like 12 minutes. I don't, I don't, I still don't understand how that happened. You can, you can rewatch the game. I'll go rewatch the game, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Some other ones will be as well. <laughs> I mean, we have some time because <laughs> you finished it early. Uh, we are taking a one-week break now, but we will be back for the season finals. Of course, that's on August 10th for our four-week season finals that all be culminating in our grand finals in Munich. This is the bracket. Your first opponent, G2, is MDK. Mickey, what do you think? Yeah, that's pretty hype. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, what's the other one? Let me see. Yeah, Fnatic BDS. BDS. Oh, that is hype. And whoever wins goes to Worlds or no? Or do you have to meet one more after? I believe for Yeah, but like for them. For them, it would be one best of five, I think, but don't take this as fact. Um, yeah? Yeah. Well, unfortunate from Atlantis, but I think they can maybe make it through the loser bracket. I think they have good chances, regardless. Yeah? I believe in them. Oh, yeah, you believe in them? That's so, the yeah. question. Who's going to be? Because between kind of G2, Fnatic, and BDS, they have the best possibilities, of course, I guess, because they're already in the upper bracket, so technically it should be easier. Who is like an odd duck out you think could make it to Worlds? Oh, I mean, if you're not picking any of the three teams you just listed, then you're probably picking SK as the outlier that could make that lower bracket one going through with it. My question was actually going to be as well, who do you think joins you for that world spot now that you've secured it? Which other two teams do you think is coming with you? Giant X. <laughs> like, let's go Patrick. <laughs> and Fnatic, I guess. <laughs> Everyone agrees? Yeah? Uh, you can also grab some tickets for the first three weeks in Berlin over at lec.gg slash tickets. And there's a few tickets left for Munich as well on lec.gg slash Munich. Before we sign off, there is one more thing we need to settle. There is a very dedicated G2 Army fan who was just absolutely determined to lose his hair. Florian with his road to bald. First it was if G2 was undefeated, then we changed it. And uh, I feel like he made a deal with Romain that if the, if you clean swept the final 3-0, his hair was still going off. Is that correct? Yep. You, yeah? Well, we're, is he there? Berlin, here to complete the road to bald at the end of the day. It's Florian! I guess we're casting um, his hair getting shaved off. Mickey, you were pretty good at that. Do you want to take the lead? There we go. Let's go! Is that dangerous? No. No. Let's go, Florian! <laughs> Do you guys have any comments? Broken Blade, Mickey, any comments? Huh? I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but... <laughs> He's really like, there's no strategy involved in this, I think. Are we waiting until it's all gone? I guess we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it? We are. You no, give up or what? have finished the job. <laughs> oh, he's given up. Well, 
Uh, Roma has given up halfway, much like, unfortunately, Fnatic earlier in the day. It is G2 that wins their third shield in a row. Uh, and we will sign off. As said, we'll take one week break. We'll be back for our season finals. Berlin, one more time for your three-time LEC champions in 2024, G2 Esports. My name on the sign. But my, is, is there a mum in the crowd? Oh my god. No way, can't lose Mamba. But Mickey escapes with a sliver 12 HP. And now Broken Blade's in all sorts of hurt. Fnatic by another. Pop it, pop it, pop it. They got it, but it's fine. Look, go for it, go for it. Don't be talking, very good, boys. Nice. He did not see me. He did not see me. Wait, wait, let him hit, let him hit. Look, look, look. I can go. Really good. Very nice, nice. Hey, kill the more, kill the more. Double scorpion. Double scorpion. He's one HP, man. Hit it, hit it, hit it. No, he's not dead. No, 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 no. You can wait, maybe get him back. Very good. I use them. Double scorpion. They missed the shot. Jin missed the shot. We win this. We win. Double scorpion. Double scorpion. Double scorpion. We win. We win. We win. Oh my God, the Jin missed the shot that I was done. Jin will be the one that pulls Mickey flashes. And once again, once again, somehow out of nowhere. G2 find victory in the jaws of defeat. And Summer's holding the Killer Instinct here. No one still has the barrier. There's the Killer Instinct barrier exchange. Hunts up a flash of the Mystic shot. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Very good, Toski. Wait, he's going, he's going. Oh, he's trying to get down. Siren of Flash, Siren of Flash. Nice. Nice. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Siren of Flash. I can TP, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Still I can still, still go, still go. I need a ward, I need a ward. Nice. Give me, give me, give me. Sorry. Give me, give me, give me. Keep walking with Kaiser. Keep walking with Kaiser. Yeah. Oh, look, Ezreal. Yeah, yeah. Hit him. No flash, no flash, no flash. He's dead, he's dead, he dies, he dies, he dies. Nice. I'm holding the Lucian when I get back here. Right, CV8 series. Let's go, guys. Very f***ing We're in lane game, King. We're in lane, we're in the scaling King, bro. Woo! Let's go, boys. Uh, how do we celebrate? Uh, what? They stand apart, a cut above, untouchable. The G2 reign continues as they are your summer split champions.